everybody, I'm Allie, and this is part three of the YNR Chat vlog for Sunday, January 25th. And can we talk about Adam, please? So he pled guilty and got 18 months in prison. Wow. Uh, so is this guy off the show now? Please leave me a comment and let me know if you happen to know anything about that guy's contract status. Is he just gone? I have no idea. I wanted to say, though, that I think that Heather handled this entire situation very well. She went to Adam earlier in the week and told him, I don't want to take this to court. It's going to be embarrassing for both of us. So I appreciated the way that she handled the entire Adam situation. Victor, on the other hand, I thought that maybe at the last minute Victor would swoop in and save Adam, but he didn't. Victor let his son, Adam, get dragged away in handcuffs by the jail guards the whole time screaming, Dad! Dad! And he just let it happen. I don't know. I, I don't know if I could let my kid go to jail like that. I don't know. Um, this week we saw a lot of flashbacks about the Adam situation. And it made me see things a little bit differently. I got a little bit of a different perspective on it because Adam did get screwed over by Victor, if you think about it. Adam objected to running Newman. He objected to even being at Newman. He didn't want preferential treatment. He didn't even use his real name when he first started at the company. After the family shunned him, and Nick and Victoria and Nikki did shun him, they did, um, and then Victor was presumed dead, Adam was given way more power than any kid his age should ever have. So in a way, Victor put him in this position to fail. He set him up to fail. Of course Adam ended up abusing the power. Of course he did. Um, now, I'm not saying that it's right, but I, I'm, I understand a little bit more, I think, as a result of just having gotten some perspective on the situation, Adam's desire for re revenge against his father and his desire to, to forge the diary. It was bad, don't get me wrong, but Adam was a tool. He was a victim of the Jack and Victor game. He was a casualty. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's it's not that he's not culpable, but I just think that there is, you know, I, I have enjoyed considering his side of the story a little bit more. So what do you guys think? If you were, if Adam was your son and Victor was you, would you send Adam to jail? Uh, I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. And remember, Nick turned Victor in to the feds at one time. So Adam is not the only son to have betrayed his father. But Victor doesn't even need Adam now. Victor has a brand new, fresh out of the oven family. He's doing the exact same thing with Abby and Ashley that he did with Sabrina and Adam. It's scary and disturbing, um, in my opinion. And Nikki called Victor out about it, I think on Friday, and she's right. She was right. And no matter what Victor says or tries to convey, I think that Nikki really does get to him because she's got his number. She is probably one of the only people in the world who really knows him and who understands how his mind works, and I think he hates that. And he knows that she's right. So now we've got Abby, the spoiled little brat. I have been waiting to talk to you guys about this since she came onto the show. I love her. I do. I love her. Not that I like who she is, but I think that she is going to be a very, very interesting story, or a very interesting character to watch. Um, I am excited to see the dynamic between Abby and Victoria. I think that there could be a little uh, uh, fatherly jealousy going on there. Uh, and, I, and I am excited to see uh, the tension that's going on between Eden and Abby. Uh, I think that could bring some fun storylines also. <clears throat> Bottom line, Abby's a brat, and she's definitely going to mix things up. Meanwhile, poor Brad. Yeah, I'm going to say it. That's how I feel. Poor Brad. <laughs> I like Brad. Uh, he doesn't get Sharon. Victor's trying to steal his daughter and squeeze him out of Newman. He's trying to get him to sell his shares. Um, and, and I, you know, 
I'm very sad that YNR is letting Di Don Diamond go from the show. Um, he's been on the show for all of the 13 years that I have watched. He's been a great artist. Um, I've really enjoyed watching him. Uh, but if they're going to write him out of the show, they better write him out with a bang. Okay, so that's it for me for now. As always, I have totally enjoyed talking with you guys about the show. I enjoy hearing your comments. Please feel free to leave some for me. It's nice to be back um, and to be talking with you guys again. Um, you can also go ahead and leave me a comment on the main page of this YouTube channel if you like. And uh, until next week, you can please check out my website at buttonhead.etsy.com. I do all kinds of custom printing and sticker labels and temporary tattoos and buttons and magnets and all kinds of stuff and I would love to work with you guys if you have any projects so please check it out buttonhead.etsy.com and until then I will see you next week same time same place bye